Hey guys, Dr. Petucci, we're in the OR. Today we're doing uh, bio-oblique dynamic proximal ulnar osteotomy for uh, elbow disease. So if you look here, this is an x-ray of a young doll. You can see how the growth plate here is not is, is already closed where the ulna is, uh, sorry, the ulna's distal uh, growth plate is closed and the distal radius is open. This dog is developing what's called distal carpal valgus, which means basically doing starting to do this. Um, we CT the elbow here. Uh, there's no chip on the coronoid, which happens pretty regularly, but if you can see here, there's incongruity. The uh, radius and the ulna are not perfectly smooth, and it's pulling the uh, back part of the elbow into the humerus. So we're going to make a small little cut in this orientation, a bio-bleak cut, um, and uh, we'll show some pictures and drop. Stay tuned. All right, so we've made our uh, caudal incision directly over the ulna here. You can see I've exposed the, the shaft of the ulna. I'm dissecting between the two bones here through the interosseous ligament because I don't want to, I want to make sure when I cut this ulna in half at our bio-bleak angle it actually slides this way because right now this tip of the ulna is being driven into the humerus. So once I cut this at a bio-bleak angle like this with my saw, not just like this, that's a single oblique. Noel Fitzpatrick showed that if you do a, a bio-oblique like this, uh, it actually slides and, and uh, locks in. So we're going to uh, dissect this a little bit more. It's a very, very minimally invasive procedure as far as incisions wise, but that's that's all the incision you need to make. So I started making my I started making my uh, osteotomy here. I'm making again a uniplanar would be like this. A bioplanar is kind of cockeyed like this going up. I'm gonna make sure you don't hit the ulna or the radius, of course. Kind of nice and slow. I'm trying to aim for Jamie's hole in there. Done. That's it. So we made our cut. If you see here that the proximal portion of the ulna has slid back because it's under tension and now the uh, inconeal process is not hitting the inside of the humerus. This is the distal segment. Uh, you can see it slid back just a little bit. See a little overriding there? Perfect cut. That'll heal in about uh, six weeks. And you don't need to support them. You wrap them up for a couple days and, and uh, we give it to over to our acclaimed Jamie Bass, our rehab tech, and she will uh, get this dog running back as soon as possible.